That was your news in a minute. Now back to your top story. A legendary Kodak photographer was featured at an exhibit at the High Falls Gallery Sunday. For nearly four decades, Neil Montanus promoted Kodak's advertising to millions of people around the world through his photography. Wynest Christina Noche joins us from the newsroom with the community's reaction to Neil's work and the stories behind each photograph. Christina? There was a large showing at the gallery for Neil Montanus, who is now 85 years old, including some of the models he photographed years ago in his studio. Now, the exhibit featured the famous photographs of Walt Disney and President Ford, along with some never-before-seen Kodak originals Neil found in his basement. But what was most interesting were the stories behind the photos, some comical, some frightening, depicting what a true photographer will sacrifice for that perfect shot. As an advertising photographer for Kodak. Send me a portrait of overseas or anywhere I go. Neil's dream job wasn't always glamorous. I stood there and the wind blew the blanket in the back. I, I could feel the camera jiggling out of that. Out of 49 pictures I shot, two were sharp. Sometimes calling for studio shots made from scratch on Kodak's sixth floor to scuba diving and getting up close and personal with wildlife in Kenya. I was scared to death and made it in the Jeep real fast. This picture was completed in two shots. The third was of Neil running from the cheetah. Well, there's all that chance is I photographed a lot of wide angles and some of them were threatening and some weren't. So I always had to be ready to jump in the car if we were safe. He says this shot was almost his last, but part of his crowning achievement on the famed Kodak Colorama project. But when I shoot a Colorama, you don't shoot one. Like in Brazil, I shot at least a hundred Coloramas. Coloramas, standing at 18 feet high and 60 feet wide, were promoted by Kodak as the world's largest photographs, displayed in New York City's Grand Central Terminal. That's not the end of the story. <laughs> His picture of Walt Disney in 1961 was called the best portrait ever taken of Disney. And since Neil knew what it took to capture a great shot, he wasn't afraid to speak his mind. I really like that. Well, you've given me a hard time. And so I finally turned to Walt Disney and I said, Walt, either this guy goes or I go. He shocked President Ford's staff by giving him a lesson in how to pose in the Oval Office. They were shocked out of their teeth because, because I talked to the president that way. Oh well, it worked and I got a good picture. And during the shoot for the Capitol building, he requested a lighting crew to light the entire bottom level of the building. And they did. They got a lighting company that night and boom, just like that. You see it and it's beautifully lit. While Kodak's current state is upsetting to him, Montanus welcomes the age of digital photography and wishes he had it for some of those difficult shoots overseas. The fact that you see your picture now, right now, otherwise I have on film and ship it back to Rochester, you know, and wait for days and days and days, and then I get the picture and I'm all nervous that it come out. A long way from the Midwestern boy who worked a paper route to buy film, Montanus was exhilarated to see the community's interest in his work. I'm elated, absolutely elated. I had no idea that it's going to be like this. The George Eastman House's traveling exhibition, Colorama, opens in the Grand Central Terminal on July 28th and will feature several of Neil Montanus's work. Kevin? What an incredible exhibit. Christina, thanks for that report. That's uh, Wynes, Christina Noche reporting.